Link is getting tired of waiting, so I'm just gonna start this intro right now. Hey everybody, Lady Gear to you here, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD. In the previous video, we started off the great adventure through the Forbidden Woods. In today's video, we'll be continuing on, so you may notice that those uh, stupid vines are uh, blocking the pathway. That's uh, very vine with me. And uh, and uh, in case I didn't reuse uh, that stupid pun from Scarlet Sword, I'm still using the Wind Waker. So what we need to do is that we need to go through this door and just go around here. Now, there's a platform over here that might seem very insignificant right now. This platform right here may seem pretty useless to us at the moment, but trust me, you're going to remember. You're going to want to remember how to get back to that platform later in the game. Um, at least I think it's that platform over there. I might be wrong. If I am, I'll put a caps on screen. Not here, because I can correct myself when we actually get around to doing that place. Um, okay, now this is something that always gets me, because of what we need to do for this area is that we need to use a deck. We need to fall into the uh, mud, apparently. No, we need to use the deck leaf to activate um, a wind current. But it just seems a little confusing to me. Um, like, I always get confused right there, because it seems like it's work. Um, that's That's... Um, it's, it's to make Link float, even if he's, like, just standing on there. Um, but I can, but it, it does make sense, kind of, as to why that wouldn't work, but at the same time, it doesn't. If that makes any sense, which it probably doesn't. Since when my, does my commentary ever make sense? Anyway, we have a couple of enemies over here that we can go to deal with, and the super handy-dandy feature of the boomerang will be able to destroy them and kill the blood. To, to fight them. And again, again, with the animation of the, uh, these enemies um, creating more enemies. Like, it just always looked weird to me. Okay, let's take care of those guys and open up the trust chest. Yay, another joy pendant! What would I ever do without these? These are so handy dandy. So we can now go in here, and now you can see that uh, we have reached the boss of the dungeon. Now, again, with Dragon Roost, uh, we could uh, technically go and beat the dungeon right now. But there are a couple things that I'd like to do real quick. Namely, there are some treasure chests across the Forbidden Woods. And, that I'd like to go get real quick. So now you're gonna be seeing like a little montage of me going across the dungeon to go and get, to go and get these treasure chests. So let's go. First thing we want to do is um, I'm gonna go over here and destroy this pot, pick up the sticks, and set fire to the cauldron. Watch a bird as I eat your face. That sounds really gross. And I just got a notification about um, a YouTube comment. Hey, I know that person. And, hey, it's that one. It, um, it, uh, it was, um, I just got a notification on my tablet. Um, it, sorry if I seem distracted right there. Um, I got a notification on my tablet saying that I got a YouTube comment from a longtime viewer who's been watching me since Coward Sword, which you know who you are. You're awesome because uh, you've been watching me since Coward Sword, and I have no idea how you'll be able to put up with my. Um, with my crazy shenanigans uh, since uh, since the since uh, the Scarlet Sword let's play, but I really appreciate it because um, like I know I said this before that don't really that doesn't really matter to me um, if I have like um, ten subscribers or a million subscribers. All I really care about is the fact that um, is the fact that I'm enjoying making these videos. But it is really good to see that all this hard work and making these videos is um, is worth it. Um, because yeah, because I have like people um, posting like really nice supportive things in my comments all like all the time, and it's like really nice to see that all the time. Um, especially with like with things like Earthbound, because Earthbound, if you've been watching those videos, then it, then you probably tell why it's been why it's taken so long for me to plan out that let's play because I'm going into detail for every single enemy in that game. And the fact that um, it's been a big nightmare to edit those videos, but it's really worth it to um, see all this, to uh, see it when um, when like people uh, comment saying that they've been like liking the let's play and things like that. So it, it, so that makes it like all worth it. Now even if I didn't have comments like that, I'd still be making let's plays uh, because I like, have way too many ideas for uh, let's plays like. 
um, I was talking to the James Rose and Greg was gaming over Skype, and the James Rose was pointing out that I'm crazy because I have like the next couple years planned out for Let's Plays, and I'm not kidding uh, when he said that because I do because I do actually have the next couple years planned out for what I want to do with my channel because I am crazy. Anyway, so now I'm going to cut ahead to where those other chests are. So well, actually, there's one in this room, so I don't know what I'm saying. Let's take out this guy. Um, oh yeah, I actually do know where that treasure chest is. I was um, um, I was trying to think. I was looking at my map because it's, because the map says that there's a treasure chest around here, um, but I couldn't remember where it was. But luckily, I remembered because I'm awesome. Now I'm going to do this in the most unnecessary epic way possible. Backflip, decalies. Dress chest open! Yay! And now I'm gonna get it to us getting up to the next treasure chest, so I'll see you guys in a second after Link gets eaten by Dick Obama. Here's the thing I'm legitimately curious about. There's a channel called Screw Attack that does a thing called Death Battle, and a few years ago they had one where Peach and Zelda were in a fight. I want I wonder if the results would be the same in, um, if they made a, that video today, because uh, Zelda um, because if they win with the uh, Zelda that they use Hyrule Warriors, then uh, Peach would not be able to stand a chance because uh, Zelda is way too powerful in Hyrule Warriors. All right, in the room where we got the boomerang, what we want to do to get to gain access to the next treasure chest is that we have to throw the boomerang at these diamond switches and then go inside this room. Now there, we don't actually have to go inside that room where we got the boomerang. I'm just using that as um, to give you guys a reference point on where we need to go. Um, because there's something over here that I like, completely forgot to talk about, so um, after we defeat these guys, we're going to uh, continue on our path of glory. I don't know why I say that, because all we're doing is just playing video games. Okay, let's feed this guy. These guys! Um, I don't remember their names. I think they're called uh, P-Hats, but I remember that in Majora's Mask that they were a big pain to deal with, because um, like there's this one heart piece where you had to like... Um, to feed this one piad in the middle of a uh, terminal field in a cave. Um, and that guy was a big pain to fight. But I don't actually know if this is the same enemy, but it might be. That's just what I'm going to assume. But anyway, uh, going back on track, we need what we need to do is that we have to uh, use the whip to climb across these things. And I made the mistake of trying to use the deco leaf to go across the thing. That's not what we're supposed to do at all. Um, Let's fight that. Let's go fight that guy, and then use the, rip, the whip to come over here. Yay! Using the web. And then we need to climb up over here um, to do some more things that are cool. I remember one time when I was playing through um, uh, through Tomb Raider Legend um, in the first level in Bolivia. Um, I said this before, and I, I think I said during that, that let's play as well. But I but I love the grappling hook in that game. Something I always found fun to do was in the first level in Bolivia, how um, there's one grappling hook area just outside the temple um, in the first level that you can use, that you have to uh, have Laura cr uh, climb across. I always liked having Laura climb to the highest peak and then um, just like letting go of the grappling hook because I'm pure evil. The next treasure chest we'll be getting is inside the room with all the jumping flowers of doom and destruction and death. So what we want to do is that we have to uh, climb over to um, this area um, the way that we normally go through the main uh, through the main dungeon. But what we want to do now is we want to go inside the one on the very top and fly this way. Now this will be pretty um, difficult to figure out if you don't know what you're doing. But if you have skills like me, then you're gonna be here forever. But it's the law of Twilight Princess. If there's a if there's a puzzle, then all you need to do is look up. At least that's the basic world for, um, for most of the dungeons in that game. At least in this one uh, dungeon, because I remember there's one dungeon in the in that game. Um, the I think it was Orbitor's Ground, where I, where I could not figure out what I was supposed to do for the longest time. But then I found that all you had to, all you need to do was just look literally look upwards, and there was a switch that you had to shoot your the bow and arrow. It was not even that tough of a puzzle. It was just me being a a, a moron. But anyway, the final treasure chest that we'll be getting is over here, so let's destroy the vines and open up the final treasure chest. Let me guess, it's a joy pendant. Or a treasure chest. I think it's a treasure chart. Yeah, it is a treasure chart. Yay! So now I'm going to get ahead to uh, meeting you guys back at, to, where the, uh, to where the boss of the dungeon is, so I'll see you guys there.
And with that, we're getting this video off here, so thank you guys so much for watching this video of The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Raker HD. Next time, we're going to be facing the boss of the Forbidden Woods. And until next time, Lady Gear to you. Oh yeah!